good morning everyone good evening everyone and welcome back in today's class today we are going to be discuss a new fresh big topic which i which we are going to be take approximately 3 to 4 days to be complete due to some reason we are not able to do it yesterday but yes today we are going to be kick off that part okay so i just give a little little brief that how it's it's work and what we are going to be discuss now yes laura any any question laura no okay, okay no problem request management now let's take example <clears throat> uh sneha want to purchase a gold jewelry okay the cost of that jewelry is approximately 2 lakh rupees she has some function she want to buy that okay good now what sneha do sneha go to the jewelry shop and ask about the ornaments and ask about the price let's <clears throat> say it's 2 lakh rupees inr okay now this is a very big amount <clears throat> sneha no that she can purchase but still she need a approval on the place next time she go to the uh, she back to home and she ask her husband i want to buy this ornament <clears throat> costing rupees lakh okay his husband say yes or his husband say no if yes then morning she again go to shopkeeper jewelry shop book and after 3 or 4 days she will get ornaments if no chapter close no further discussion no further action is required <clears throat> so this small example is basically is telling us that how the request management to work actually it is it is just not only for one example i can say my kid if he need anything from the market and he is with me in the market he ask me and say dad i need this thing if i approve he will get it if i did not approve the the best uh what i can say things which children can do crying complaining you're not a good dad all this fun of kind of will be there okay so now we are going to be pick up example in service now in today's class we will see that how a user can raise a request and how that request will be fulfilled so now i'm putting two more terms here request and incident incident is always resolved and request is always fulfilled because if <clears throat> because if your request is not fulfilled you will not able to do that work but if your incident is not resolved you will not able to use that product actually okay so generally this is this is the time period 7th till 14th it is a time when wife requests something and husband fulfilled that is a request management i can say okay maybe in some cases they they need approval 
in some cases they don't want approval let let's take this example it will more change sneha and family let's say sneha and his husband want to buy a home costing <clears throat> 80 lakh now they both are capable to go for the decision but still they respect their parents and they ask for the approval that we want to spend 80 lakh rupees are you happy with this can you give us your approval so that we can go ahead and book the flat this is the approval mechanism now one more example because see i am putting a lot of things here and there so that at the last when we see in the service now we can make it a collective point there <clears throat> i am sure everybody is using amazon flipkart grofor zomato all the things will be there now take example or maybe maybe definitely you have thing sneha book a product nupur book a product ken book a product dipika book a product they book their products they done the payments everybody is getting a email with their proper name hello miss or mrs sneha hello mrs dipika hello mr ken hello mr avi your order has been placed everybody is getting a email whenever their product has been dispatched maybe for for ken it is after 2 hours only but for sneha it can be after 2 days as well but she is also getting the email then everybody is getting a a message or email your product is out for delivery and at last everybody is getting a email or message the product has been delivered now think from a human perspective <clears throat> from a consultant perspective do you think that someone is sitting in the background and doing these updates and then you are getting your messages i'm just putting a thought do you think that someone is sitting in the background in amazon or maybe in the flipkart or in the mintra someone is sitting and he is sending a message to dipika he is sending a message to avi he is sending a message to ken that your product has been dispatched i'm no. sure answer is no if answer is no then who is sitting in the background who is sending all these messages someone should be there right someone should be there who is who is doing this thing so that we called as a <clears throat> workflow in the background when i started my what i can say mca i'm i'm a master in computer application on the day one when teacher says okay let's start about the computers basics and after that there is a term come into the picture called the what is it called flow right not flow it's there's a <clears throat> not workflow in that boxes we called it i'm missing that name one is sudoku and uh, workflow or uh, something is there I, i forget that name so teacher asked to do that part so what it say workflow means a step by step flow chart yes sorry flow chart <clears throat> what flow chart says step by step execution of a particular activity or a work or a task is called the flow chart like if i want to tell you that how you can make a cup of tea okay then if i put it a kind of a graph get water on the gas put sugar plus tea boil for 5 minutes put milk boil for 10 minutes don't go for the spelling and ready 
Now, if instead of this, if I do something like this for you, like this, it is easy to understand. Correct. Correct. So what we did as as a from the service now perspective, we understand this flow and convert them into the workflow. We are just putting X, Y, and Z and making it for the workable. So don't be confused now. Everything which we discuss, workflow or flow. I'm sure Kane will be smiling a very good now because this is a topic which is which he is waiting for a long time. Is that agree, Kane? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So no worries. So we we are going to be start these topics now. Okay. Now let me go back to the service now. Let me open it here. Dev and LNG. What we are going to be discuss now, what we are going to be see now, if I am a user and I join the company and my manager say, okay, I will go and raise a request for a new desktop or the laptop. I go to service now, I open the portal and we'll start working on the same. <clears throat> Just give me one minute, guys. Okay. So now we will see that if I raise a request, how the background is working how the approval is triggering, how the task has been generated. This is one of the basic module which everybody should know as a consultant, as a developer, as a architect. Okay, and from here, I'm giving you one more exercise to do that part, but not now. Let me go here in the catalog. And Browse by categories. Okay. Suppose I want to order Apple iPad 3. Everybody is happy with this or shall we take some other uh, device? <clears throat> okay, let me order the desktop. Executive desktop. So this is called the catalog item page. I am putting specific words here. Let me give you an example of my practical uh, project. In one of the projects, approximately six or not six months, or one year back, I was just starting the implementation of service now for one of my client. And definitely sometime your company hires someone from the service now as well. So I was in I was doing this this thing, and in that meeting, one person from the service now also available by mistake i put the wrong words for this page i say it is a catalog home page you will not believe that guy scold me like anything the reason he told me at the, at the end of the call he called me especially and say <clears throat> atul remember one thing you are the consultant of a tool if you use the wrong terms, your customers, your users will also use the wrong term. And from that day, I make that habit in my work. If I don't know, I'll not speak. But if I know, I'll speak the right words only. So I'm telling you, this is the catalog item page. Neither it is a catalog, neither it is a category. It is a catalog item page. On the top, we have a catalog name. I, sorry, item name, and here some details are there. And here I have some options. Like whenever you go to want to place any order for mobile phone or maybe tops or jeans or some ornaments on, on 
e-commerce website, you always say, okay, it's red color is available. L size or XL size fit to me is actually available. So these things which you can see here, these things is called the variable. These can be different from catalog item to catalog item. If you are sitting in a restaurant and you are ordering the gravy, that time you will not ask, hey, it is in the one GB or two GB. You will ask it's spicy or sweet. It means that variable has been changed from that particular item to the other item. <clears throat> okay, so these variables have a vital rule. How it will come in the page that we will discuss in the later on. As of now, for today's one, just see that how this process has been set up in the background. Till this point, any doubt, any question, any clarification you guys need it here? Tell me. <clears throat> Anything you need to be understand here? Okay. So let me put the CPU here as a Exxon processor 3.7. I want 2 GB. So it's saying 2 GB under rupees $100 extra. Like if you if you are purchasing a mobile phone and you want a black color, black color is costing 100 rupees extra. So it's like that only. So now sir, if I click on this. Is it in between? Uh, this yes, sir. Home page, no. how, how did you get it? Where did you get this uh, entire home page? So you go here and put the service portal name here. And then click on the catalogs. Okay. And Thanks. click on the categories. Okay. So now you can see it's 2045 because I'm using the 2 GB hard drive. I want to be used the 250 GB, $75 extra. Okay. It has been changed. What operating system you need? I need Red Hat. Okay. And here is a special requirement. Vizio and KB player, etc. And if you want to attach any document, you can attach it here. And I click on the order now. Delivery time, two days. How many quantities you want? One, two, three. I'll put it as a one as of now, just for our understanding. And click on the order now. So now think that you are placing any order on Flipkart or Mintra or Amazon. You are doing the checkout and you are doing the payment stuff. In our official instances, the only thing is that we don't do any payment. That will be taken care by our manager level. So now we have a request number. We get an order number. A beautiful concept we are starting here now. In the request management, <clears throat> we mainly deal in the three terms. REQ. RATM and SC task. REQ stands for the request number. <coughs> it is a parent, I can say. Under REQ, I have a different, different RITM. What it say? Requested. Item number. Now I'll, I'll tell you what I'm saying. Suppose I am doing an order on Amazon. Okay. In a single order, I put one fridge, I put TV, I put mobile, and I put footprints. Okay. These are my, I, I get one order number at, as, a, as on the top. That for Atul order number is like this. But under that, I have a different, different items available. Maybe this will be coming from Mumbai, it's coming from Delhi. Maybe this is coming from Kolkata, and this is coming from, again, UP South. So, and for all these four, different process is there. 
all for the for all this it's a different process it say i'll take 10 days it says i'll take 16 days 16 days it say i'll take only 5 days it say i'll take only 2 days so under this order you can track the different different item status this is called the ritm in service now so like when you go to restaurant your bill is one only but under that bill you have a different different items bread gravy salad papad cold drinks drinks soft drinks sweets all are the different different items there maybe dal will take or the gravy will take only 5 minutes to be delivered but sweets will take 20 minutes to be prepared some people order them like brownie some people order in, in the restaurants it take time because they have to be little put put some steam and some fire then ice cream and then put on the brownie it take time and under that we have a it's called the catalog task okay what this means specifically that what are the task what are the work need to do to deliver a fridge procure h liver and demo for tv dispatch deliver demo mobile dispatch and deliver outfits dispatch and deliver so now did you notice one thing that for all the items we have different different task available in this for the fridge i have a four task for tv i have a three task for mobile i have a two task for outfits i have just two task what this mean is that whenever you order something in a background there are the three records has been generated req ritm and sc task it depends that how many items you are ordering in a single req or single request that's totally your need okay clear till this point everyone any doubt kain virendra kunal abhi sir can you explain sc task service catalog task okay. once again service catalog task are those task which need to be complete to deliver one or to or uh, fulfill one item or the req i can say like if i say you invited some guest at your home what are the task you will do pre preparation getting the raw material getting the vegetables getting the drinks cool drinks biscuits snacks all the things they reach to your place you serve them they gone and after that you have to be clean up the house as well so these are the four tasks you have to be do when you clean the house only then you say yes oh my party has been over now so those are the tasks clear avi or any doubt still clear clear sneha dipika nupur veer bikola sara kachi any any doubt any question no no doubt sir okay good i have a very smart team now yes good good so they are not same they are different right are you warranty in the residence these three are the three different records so now if i show you in the service now we okay what we done we submit a request for a desktop right this is my request under this i have a item now that is called the executive desktop because remember i told you you never order a catalog category you always order a item if you go to restaurant you never say hey bring the soup 
you always says please bring the mount chow or the tomato or the veg soup so those are the ratm so now if i go here let copy it and go to the native view and search it what happened Oh, we're taking a lot of time. Let me change the theme as well, yeah. It's showing the not on the dark theme, but still it's showing like this. Hey, what happened? Global search is not working. Okay, it's loading. Okay, let's go by this way then. Request and uh. Open request. Let's go by that direction then. This is our request. Correct. Agree, everyone. Let me show you that. Yes, okay. So now you can see this is my request number. Okay, and it is pending for the approval. Now Atul, you say that we order a item, but it's a request. Let's scroll down. and you can see the item as well what is item executive desktop now open it this is a ratm which is required a approval now the question come from where this approval is coming that we will see in the workflow or the flow designer no need to be take any tension as of now okay so no need to be worried just to understand the process today in the next coming 3 to 4 days we are be joining this dots and what we saw today we are be building in next few to 4 days okay now whose approval is pending so this is what we have decided i need this one 2 gb all this thing will be there any task is there no no task why because if sneha husband did not approve that ornament request then why she go back to that shop shopkeeper and say hey please book the order for me she will not do so what we'll do we'll go back to the ratm req level and see here is the approval now approval can be given i'm not sure that why this is id is appearing because something wrong with my instance as of now i can clearly say but but nothing to be worried guys okay it is going for a group approval which domain i am that's fine okay it is going for one group approval and who can approve eric is the one who need to be approved so i as a admin as of now i'm i'm just giving example i as a admin let me approve this this is the fundamental now guys you you have to be strong on these areas and don't consider today's session as a end user training no it is not end user training it is the fundamental training of the service portal okay now if i go to the item and click on this and scroll now you can see task has been created what is the task order from vendor or move in from the stock inventory you place a order okay and in the background that particular person to whom this request has been assigned a task has been generated that boss please check is this desktop is available in our stock or not now i click on the sc task i know or uh, suppose this task has been assigned to me what's the description text how did we get it like order received and uh... the entire text which one this one right ah uh, correct okay uh let me give an example okay you you have your own uh, music channel right with mm -hmm. if you want to record a video what step you follow what task you do record it okay Then do the mastering, voice mastering, and everything. 
and okay. upload upload okay. sheet okay and and before before recording what you do rehearsal you have to be lyrics you have to be write the song first right mm. you have to be write the song you have to be reach out to the singer to get in all the things now tell me how many of these six to seven tasks performed by you mm. not by your team definitely maximum one or two tasks performed by you correct right now now if this is the example i can give you it means you you can understand that you are the one who is creating this particular catalog this item for the customer right Correct. so you know so now as a consultant when i go to my customer and i say okay boss what do you want he says atul i want a catalog item for ordering a sim card okay i ask okay when any user is ordering a sim card do you need any approval or you, he want he should take some approval he says yes i ask tell me whose approval is required he says that it should be approved by his manager now in this case we manager is different my manager is different avi manager is different kunal kunal manager is different there is a one thing once manager approve the request then it should go to the it team or i can say the sim department okay sim department first task should be assigned to the sim procurement person or the group to procure the sim which he is needed one task after that once he procure the he procure the sim then it go to the sim activation department or the group to activate the sim then second task then it should go to the sim register department where that sim has been registered with that particular employee third task done and at the fourth deliver that sim to the employee which will be taken care by the admin or the reception team this is the fourth task so you as a customer know that who will perform which task you provide me this this small english and then i just put that english into the format of a workflow correct so this is standard uh, input not stand, no no no, no 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 it's it's a just a field which is be required what text you are putting is up to you you can put your name veer avi kunal you can put no problem so now suppose if ticket has been uh, task has been assigned to this particular group now if i if i am the person from this particular group i see yes stock is available what i will do i'll update my comments stock is available post and i will close my task because until i will not close the next task will not be generated see receive the item means person from the go down says yes stock is available you as a shopkeeper sending one person to receive that item okay go i put item received and close my task item received then what is the third part it is a configuration it will done by the configuration team generally see they are signing to the same group but we will we will see something different in in our practical go here i'll put my comments configuration done and close my task now you are just having a happy path you are seeing a happy path now item deliver to the customer and i close my task once item delivered request item done request close so you can see it's a completed and if i click on the request you can show it's a closed complete a beautiful status you have to be work 
होमवर्क फॉर यू गाइज लेट मी सी टू होम आई शुड गिव अ होमवर्क केन नोट डाउन दिस होमवर्क नाउ रीड अबाउट द रिक्वेस्ट आर आई टी एम एंड एस सी टेस्ट नंबर वन रीड अबाउट द डिफरेंट स्टेटस ऑन रिक्वेस्ट आर आई टी एम एंड एस सी टेस्ट दिस टू क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू बी रीड अबाउट कैन यू रिपीट द क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट रीड अबाउट आर ई क्यू आर आई टी एम एंड एस सी टास्क एंड द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट रीड अबाउट द स्टेट और द स्टेटस और द स्टेज ऑफ अ रिक्वेस्ट आर आई टी एम एंड द एस सी टास्क दैट हाउ मेनी ऑप्शन आर अवेलेबल वट डिमीन बाय द क्लोज इनकम्प्लीट वट डिमीन बाय द क्लोज स्केप If I put incomplete, what will happen? If I put close skip, then what will happen? That is what I am saying. This is not an end user training. If I provide as an end user training, then I discuss all these things. It is a basic understanding now. Now let me come to you guys. Any doubt? Any question? Any clarification till this point? Bikola, Kachi, Sara, Laura, Kane, Steve is not there today. Yanki, um, yes, or what I am saying. V, Detona, Detona is also not there. Deepika, Nupur, Sneha. Let me try to pull in the meantime. Go ahead, go ahead, guys. Any doubt? Any question? Go ahead. Don't feel no at all. All clear. Bumi is not there today. Okay. Bikola, you are silent today. Again, production issue. Bikola is sleeping. I'm sure. Okay. Now, if if you understand this. particular concept what we notice here number 1 that i as a user did not say that this request should be approved by this particular group then the question come from where this group is coming or this group is coming number 1 point second point second point once the first task close only then the second task open i manually did not create any task task has been created automatically correct correct task created automatically then the question come from where this task has been coming third point we just follow the happy path everything is working fine close update fine question can be atul i want to see graphically that where my workflow has been stuck where i can go and check all these three or four things so now let's come back to our roots now on the basics now so what we are going to be do we are going to be create so like like you can see here right in the browse category i want to create one category here and under that we will create one item how my category will appear here let me show you that part go here and search for the maintain there are four options maintain catalog category and item 
these three are for us so i am open i am going to open a restaurant and i want my restaurant catalog should be appear here then i'll create a catalog first click on this click on the new now this is the exercise for everyone which i am telling you everyone need to be think at least one good catalog their categories and their items it can be school admission it can be school test it can be support sports academy it can be yoga center it can be bar tender work it can be bar kind of catalog it can be restaurant one it can be grocery shop it can be mobile shopping it can be similar to amazon anything you guys need to be think it can be calculator as well it can be laptop something as well so think for a new catalog that what catalog you are going to be prepared it can be boutique it can be beauty parlor it can be spa it can be massaging center as well think from the multiple perspective and then you guys everybody need to be create one catalog under that at least two or three categories and under that we will create at least one one item and then we will create our workflow on the top of that so this is the first task which i am telling you now okay i am going to be create a catalog i am a trainer so i'll create my catalog called the any or let's say i say this note or I'll, i'll say training as a catalog i am the one who is managing so i'll put my name you can put your name okay if you want to put any background color kind of things any desktop image you want to put this is this is all cosmetic one up to you you want to do or not that's fine for me i click on the submit button here done clear till this point any doubt any question anyone anyone any doubt any question clear yes, sir clear okay good good to go then now i'll go and reload my page now understand my question from the fundamental perspective why my catalog is not appearing here anyone has any idea why my catalog is not appearing here mm, due to the unpublished kind of thing put out a little bit louder please sorry uh Uh, uh we not publish it correct we not publish it okay what do you mean by the publish <clears throat> this is kind of like if i give the example now suppose we have written some kind of the mail but it's we not send it so it goes in the draft correct but yesterday we we saw right there is nothing called the publishing service now so your question was the question say so why your catalog is not appearing here correct why my catalog is not appearing here the one you just created yes a training one because there are those are categories those are not catalogs they on the side on the side it is it is catalog see i created the catalog only Why no, no, go back, go back, go back to the other page. Wait. So you say, you say, why is it not appearing here on the side? Yes, it should be appear here only. He is taking the service catalog. Why my catalog is not big? Let me go here. So unless there are some categories items mentioned, it will not come. Or because it is, it is also required some approval. I don't think you, you, you're on the wrong catalog. You have to switch to the new, to the training one. I want my catalog should be appear here. If I click on the browse by category, I should get a catalog option here. I'm not getting a catalog option. We'll put one point. 
what other? Okay, let's let's do one thing. Let's proceed further. Okay, but but this is a fundamental question. Keep in your mind now. Okay, now I'll close this and come here. Now I have a catalog. The point which has been put by Veer is actually hundred percent right. That you did not open the restaurant till now, and you are distributing the catalogs to the people. Hey, order from my hotel. You did not open the hotel. You just get printed your these things only. Okay. So now what I will do? I'll go here and create a category under my catalog. Click on the categories. Okay. One more thing, guys. Just one more thing. This is the one way to do this work. After one or two days, maybe by Monday, I am showing you the same things via a new option called the Catalog Builder. Because now service now is using Catalog Builder to build these kind of things. Okay, work will be same, output will, output will be same. It is just the difference of way of working or way of using. So don't be confused there. Let me go and create a category here. Okay, let me go. Trainings and I have a category called the service now. Under which catalog I want to put? Definitely. So, so you have a catalog in your hotel. You have a two catalogs, one for the drinks and one for the food. Now you are you are creating a category called the hard drinks. So, in which catalog you will, you want to put? In both. Or only in one. So I say I want to put only in the one, and that is called the trainee. Rest I can desktop image. You can do. I am not bothered about this. Do the, do this practice. Do these things, and click on the submit. So now we are coming to your point. Let me go here and reload my page. Still, my catalog is not appearing. Why? You said now that Atul, there is no category. I done that category now. Still, my catalog is not appearing. What to do, guys? Don't keep quiet. Think. These are the very common issues in your day to day life. So, unless you create the entire workflow, probably it will not come. No. Workflow is too 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 far. Workflow is too far. Correct. We are uh, just uh, category think... is there, but item is there. Item has to be okay. Okay, let let's see. So V says Atul item should be there. No problem. Let let me take V inputs and go here and click on the maintain items. And this is the heart for your catalog. Click on the new. So I have a catalog called training. Under that, I have a category as a service now, and here I can put in techno functional. The catalog item. Under which catalog I want to show? I want to show in the catalog called the training. You can put multiple as well. Let me put as a service catalog here. Okay. Under which category you want to put? In the training, I have a category called. What I have in the training, I have a category called the service. Now. This one, I I want to put. Okay, but there's things we will discuss later. Don't worry. Don't worry about the rest of the things. That Atul, what is this mention? All the things. We'll we'll do it later, one by one step. So we check part for you now. Still, I'm not able to see my category here. Sorry, my catalog here. Now tell me, I follow your process. I follow your recommendation. I follow your uh, points. 
but there is a nothing i am still getting on my portal page what to do sneha why my catalog is not appearing we we is the highest one in in all of us who is carrying a lot of experience more than i guess we is 20 years i can say yeah yeah so we respect the weird word here he says atul no category i create the category he says atul no item i created the item now don't say it's it's a bug it's not a bug issue i want to stop you guys here only sneha why it's not appearing Is it This the same? Is, the is it the same thing yesterday? Um, we have done by adding that part. What part? Uh, See, if I, I tell you one thing very, very from my uh, practical example, when we appear for an interview, okay, if you say that someone asks, okay, how you handle the major incident management process? i do this thing i open this i i reach out to technical team so nobody is interested in that if you say that i open the mi bridge with a specific number has been given to me i reach out to network team these things i want to be know so so it i'm not pointing you sneha but i'm saying we we did yesterday this thing what so, thing we did um, yesterday so the yesterday specific thing we... i want to know Okay. Yesterday, uh, yesterday we have added. Uh, previously, it was showing like knowledge base. When we search for knowledge, it was uh, giving us two options. So we added that in the. Um, in the where? In the, uh, <laughs> that's what I was checking from my end. No problem. Deepika, what do you say? In the setting tab, I think. Mm, no problem. Listen. Listen. I'll, I'll come back to you, Deepika. What do you think? Why my catalog is not appearing in the portal page? Not sure about this. Okay. No, that's wrong. Laura, what do you think? The three people are absent. Steve, Bumi, and who else is there? Detona. Yes, Laura. Why it's not appearing? Why my catalog item or catalog is not appearing on this page? Nation want to know why. Catchy. Abhi. Yes, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Kachi. Go ahead. This was I don't have an ID. Okay, Avi. I have no idea, and I'm just even trying by myself, but I'm not getting any option. Okay, Sara. Ken. Yeah, like I said before, uh, I think I think uh, I mean I don't expect it to show on that page because you're still in that LNG portal catalog stuff that you created yesterday. I mean before now, but I feel like you have to switch to the new one that you created before it will show up. So I don't know, I might be wrong. Okay. Anyone at the last? Any guesses? Wild guesses? So that I can. Give me the answer. Yes, good, good, sir. Go ahead. You are speaking, I guess. No idea. Okay. Vikola. Let me try. Um, sure. I guess probably we've not created a table for it. There's a no table requirement here. Oh, really? Table is to store the data. Okay. We are talking about the portal. Portal already have a table which already have all the configuration given by service now. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. The simple reason is that if I go here, till now I did not map this catalog on the service portal. Simple. And how this mapping will be done? Let me go here and click on the. That is when I say, guys, go and do the a lot of things in, in service now. Click on the portal. We are on this portal. Open. Scroll down. Open this. Go to catalog. Click on the edit. Atul, can you please Click. show this here? Sorry. Okay, no problem. Good, good. Before you, before you, you ask me, that's good. So what we are be doing here now, we need to be map this catalog, the training catalog to our service portal page. And that is the reason it is not be working. You are distributing the pamphlets of your restaurant menu card to the public. But you're not saying that you're not mentioning in that pamphlet that what is the address of ordering the food. It is a shop. It's a home. It is in which location. So that location linking is missing. I'm not saying anything wrong in your catalog item. No. Things are fine. Menu card is fine now. You already have a shop as well. This is your shop. But on the menu card, you did not mention. Or on the shop, you did not post that particular menu card. So what you have to do? Go here. Search for the portals. On the portal, open the portal which you want to do. Learn and grow. Under this portal, scroll down. There are the related lists available. Remember related list. This is the related list. Under this catalog, click on the edit. And you're getting your option training here. Now I'll put training. I'll put this. I'll put this. I'll put this. And OK. Save. Save. Go. And this is called the magic here. See. Now, if I click on the training, I can see my catalog. <laughs> Sorry, my category. If I click on this, I want to see my item. Clear, guys. Fundamental clear. That is an I, I told you on the on the two days back when we were discussing this portal. Guys, go and check from where these options are coming. See from where this knowledge base is coming. So let me click on the edit here. Let me bring more knowledge base if we have. <clears throat> let me put all the knowledge bases here. This is small configuration. Now if I if I go here and click on the knowledge. I'll find the knowledge bases as you see now. Multiple knowledge bases are appearing. Now let's see, is my catalog is appearing on the ECS or not? Let's see, sorry. Why I bring ESC in the place? Because this is the future for our work now. Service now is going to be decommissioned all, all other, um, maybe the, not SP, but ECS, the previous version very soon, and they're coming on the ECS Pro. Let me click on the catalog here. And now, yes, it is appearing here. Why? Because if I go here, open the ECS, I'm telling you, if you will not do any hands-on, but if you do this, this kind of traversing in the navigation, the tool, you will come to know a lot of things. Let me scroll down. Go here. Go to the taxonomy. Click on the employees because they introduced something new here. Taxonomy is a new word. Click here. And here you can see the IT. Click on the IT. 
in the it they have catalogs not here where is not this one hardware software some something other catalogs are appearing some from other place need to see. it's not it it's catalog so this one i need to be see that somewhere maybe some some standard is there so they are bringing so now if i click on the training i click on the service now this is be appearing here clear everyone fundamental till now any doubt any question bicola detona sorry did not detona because so in our pda we can uh, try and test these things uh, right atul you have to be create one catalog you have to be create one category you have to be create one item minimum you have to be do the hands on do it on the either my uh, service portal either you can pick up your own service portal that's not an issue for me um atul yes go ahead Okay, I was trying to work on it yesterday, but I think I messed up. I don't know what happened. I don't know if you can go into my um service portal and see what's happening there or where I went wrong because right okay. now I can't see my service in catalog. Uh, what is your service portal, Laura? Right? Yeah, Laura at Bing. Laura. Okay. it's only the catalog service catalog let me let me open it do you have anything okay see number one you don't have any page for oh. the catalog page then you i see some... um i i need to change that item or by preview right because that's what i'm right. seeing on my um on my service it. portal so my laura have something like this if i click on the catalog this is why yes on Yes, on the the reason is that why this appearing because you mentioned the catalog home page. Yes, item mobile. Yes, I see that Correct. now. Yes, yeah, I see that now. Correct. So if you change it to the category or some SC category, then the similar page will be appear for you. Yeah, I understand now. I understand. Now. Okay, so that is the thing. Anyone else? Any doubt? Any question here? Any clarification? Abhis, Neha, Deepika. Now, now things clear. Kunal, Veer, Bikola, Kane, Kachi, yeah. Laura. Right? Yeah. So yeah. always remember that this binding is required. It is, and don't say it is a publish. No, it's not a publish. It is a mapping only. There's nothing we we done publish. If you see, did I go and click on any button which called the publish? No. No. We just do the mapping from. Portal to the catalog only, and that work that uh, serve a purpose. Okay, now I'm not going to not going to proceed further now. I'm giving you homework. Till now, everybody aware that what we have done. Let me come back to my my catalog only category. Maintain. So I have a no function. Oh, it's sorry, it's a category. I need to go for the maintain item. Sorry, maintain item because now basic work has been done. Catalog done, category done. Now it's about the item only. Now what you have to do, guys. just for your your purpose when you creating a new catalog item try to update these things item description description put some images table videos as per your requirement okay then go to the picture try to add this picture and go to the pricing try to add this pricing try this option see it is it is a pda nothing going to be wrong here these things i can also tell but i want to give you the exposure now and then do at the last portal settings if you make it this change what will happen if you make these boxes what will happen and go and quickly go your item and see that what changes has been done this is this is very 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 basic nothing much and don't worry about anything if something goes wrong in the port, port uh, in the pda nothing is going to be wrong believe me 
so for you homework is update this this put something can just mention that thing into the into the uh, today's question leave this process engine that i will tell you tomorrow go and click on the picture do the pricing see that can i change something here what price i put in here reoccurring prices what is be weekly monthly how it's be appearing and if i click this is options what will happen in the catalog item if i change to the order submit or request then what will happen clear everyone till this point any doubt any question say yes or no 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 question great so you take it this question kin uh, and put into the whatsapp chat okay so let me stop the recording here guys